Shudra is the fourth varna, or one of the four social categories found in the texts of Hinduism. Various sources translate it into English as a caste, or alternatively as a social class. It is the lowest rank of the four varnas. The word shudra appears only once in the Rig Veda but is found in other Hindu texts such as the Manumriti, Arthashastra, and Dharmashastras. Theoretically, shudras have constituted the hereditary laboring class serving others, but in reality they have shared occupations with other varnas, including being traders and warriors. In some cases, they participated in the coronation of kings, or were ministers and kings according to early Indian texts. Texts Vedas The term Shudra appears only once in the Rigveda. This mention is found in a verse in the Purusha Sukta which is one of its 1028 hymns, while the Rigveda was most likely compiled between c. 1500 and 1200 BCE. John Muir in 1868 suggested that the verse that mentions the four Varnas has every character of modernness both in its diction and ideas. The Purusha Sukta verse is now generally considered to have been inserted at a later date into the Vedic text, possibly as a charter myth, according to Stephanie Jameson and Joel Brereton, a professor of Sanskrit and religious studies. There is no evidence in the Rigveda for an elaborate, much subdivided and overarching caste system. And the Varna system seems to be embryonic in the Rigveda and, both then and later, a social ideal rather than a social reality." Historian R. S. Sharma states that, "...the Rigvedic society was neither organized on the basis of social division of labor nor on that of differences in wealth it was primarily organized on the basis of kin, tribe and lineage." According to Romila Thapar, the Vedic texts mention of Shudra and other Varnas has been seen as its origin, and that, "...in the Varna ordering of society, notions of purity and pollution were central and activities were worked out in this context." And it is, "...formulaic and orderly, dividing society into four groups arranged in a hierarchy." The word Pusan appears in a Vedic era Upanishad, meaning, "...nourisher." and associates it with the creation of earth and production activities that nourishes the whole world, and the text calls this Pusan as Shudra. The term Pusan, in Hindu mythology, is the charioteer of the sun who knows the paths thereby bringing light, knowledge and life to all. The same word Pusan is, however, associated in a Brahmana text to Vaishya. According to Sharma, nowhere in the Vedic text collections. Is there any evidence of restrictions regarding food and marriage either between the Dasa and Aryan, or between the Shudra and the higher Varnas? Further, adds Sharma, in late Atharva Veda, Shudra does not come in for notice, probably because his Varna did not exist at that stage. <laughs> Arthashastra The ancient Hindu text Arthashastra states, according to Sharma, that Aryas were free men and could not be subject to slavery under any circumstances. The text contrasts Aryas with Shudra, but neither is a hereditary slave nor is an economically closed social stratum in a manner that the term Shudra later was interpreted. According to Rangarajan, the law on labor and employment in Arthashastra has led to a variety of different interpretations by different translators and commentators, and the accepted view is that slavery, in the form it was practiced in contemporary Greece, did not exist in Kautilyan India." Kautilya argued for the rights of Shudras and all classes to participate as warriors. Roger Borsch says that this is so because it is in the self-interest of the ruler to "...have a people's army fiercely loyal to him precisely because the people had been treated justly." Manumriti. The Manumriti predominantly discusses the code of conduct dharma rules for the Brahmins priestly class and the Kshatriyas king, administration and warrior class. The text mentions Shudras, as well as Vaishyas, but this part is its shortest section. Sections 9.326-9.335 of the Manumriti state eight rules for Vaishyas and two for Shudras. In section 10.43-10.44 Manu gives a list of Kshatriya tribes who, through neglect of the priests and their rights, had fallen to the status of Shudras. 
These are, Pundrakas, Kodas, Dravidas, Kamboyas, Yavanas, Sakas, Paradas, Pallavas, Chinas, Karatas and Dharatas. <laughs> Yajnavakya Smriti and Gryasutras According to Laurie Patton, a professor of religion specializing on early Indian religions, the rites and status of Shudra varies widely across early Indian texts. While section 9.15 of Atharvaveda states Shudras may undertake thread-wearing ceremony upanayana, the Apastamba Grisutra states they may not and excludes the Shudra students from hearing or learning the Vedas. Yajnavakya Smriti in contrast mentions Shudra students, and the Mahabharata states that all four Varnas including the Shudras may hear the Vedas. Other Hindu texts go further and state that the three Varnas, Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, may acquire knowledge from Shudra teachers, and the Yajna sacrifices may be performed by Shudras. These rites and social mobility for Shudras may have arisen in times of lower societal stress and greater economic prosperity, periods that also saw the improvement in the social conditions of women. Medieval Upanishads Medieval era texts such as Varasuchi Upanishad discuss Varna, and include the term Shudra. According to Ashwani Pitish, a professor of philosophy at the Wilfrid Laurier University, the Varasuchi Upanishad is a significant text because it assumes and asserts that any human being from any social background can achieve the highest spiritual state of existence. Non-Hindu texts Outside of the conflicting stances within the Hindu texts, non-Hindu texts present a different picture about the Shudras. A Buddhist text, states Patan, "...refers to Shudras who know the Vedas, Grammar, Mimamsa, Samkhya, Vaisheshika and Lagna." According to Johannes Bronckhorst, a professor of Indology specializing on early Buddhism and Hinduism, the ancient Buddhist canon is predominantly devoid of Varna discussion, and Shudra and other Varnas are rarely referred to in its ancient discourses. The Buddhist texts do not describe the Indian society as divided into the four varnas of Brahmins, Kshatriyas, Vaisyas and Sudras. Instead, states Bronckhorst, the bulk of society is described as consisting of householders, Pali, Gahapati, without internal distinctions. Even where the Brahmins are mentioned in such a context, they too are referred to as householders, or Brahmana Gahapati. The term vana does appear in the Buddhist texts as few exceptions, but states Bronckhorst, only in the context of abstract divisions of society and it seems to have remained a theoretical concept without any parallel in actual practice. Occupation <inaudible> 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 The Shudra, states Marvin Davis, are not required to learn the Vedas. They were not twice born, dvija, and their occupational sphere stated as service siva of the other three varna. The word dvija is neither found in any Vedas and Upanishads, nor is it found in any Vedanga literature such as the Shratha Sutras or Griya Sutras. The word is almost entirely missing, in any context, from ancient Sanskrit literature composed before the last centuries of the first millennium BCE, and it scarcely appears in Dharmasutra's literature. Increasing mentions of it appear in Dharmasastra's texts of mid to late first millennium CE. The presence of the word dvija is a marker that the text is likely a medieval era Indian text. The traditional occupation of Shudra is described as laborers and service providers. However, this categorization varies by scholar. For example, some sources state agriculturalists and artisans to be the hereditary occupation of Vaishya Varna, some place these occupations with the Shudra Varna, while some such as Charles Dreckmeyer state, "...Vaishya and Shudra actually shared many occupations and were frequently grouped together." The Arthashastra mentions Shudra as artisans, while the Vishnumriti 3rd century states all arts to be their occupational domain. In contrast, the Parasaramriti and other texts state that arts and crafts are the occupational domain of all four varnas. Other sources state that this statement of occupations of Shudra is a theoretical discussion found in select texts, it is not historical. Other Hindu texts, such as the epics, states Nahim Jabbar, assert that Shudras played other roles such as kings and ministers. 
According to Guri, in reality, the hereditary occupation aspect of Shudra and other Varnas was missing from large parts of India, and all four Varnas Brahmins, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas and Shudras were agriculturalists, traders or became warriors in large numbers depending on economic opportunity and circumstantial necessities. According to Guri, Though theoretically the position of the Shudras was very low, there is evidence to show that many of them were well-to-do. Some of them succeeded in marrying their daughters in royal families. Samitra, one of the four wives of King Dasharatha, was a Shudra. Some of them even worked their way up to throne. The famous Chandragupta is traditionally known to be a Shudra. Topic. Bali, Indonesia Among the Hindu communities of Bali Indonesia, the Shudra locally spelled Sodra have typically been the temple priests, though depending on the demographics, a temple priest may also be a Brahmin Brahmana, Kshatriya Kshatriya or Vaishya In most regions, it has been the Shudra who typically make offerings to the gods on behalf of the Hindu devotees, chant prayers, recite Maweda Vedas, and set the course of Balinese temple festivals. Historical evidence Scholars have tried to locate historical evidence for the existence and nature of Varna and Jati in documents and inscriptions of medieval India. Supporting evidence for the existence of Varna and Jati systems in medieval India has been elusive, and contradicting evidence has emerged. Varna is rarely mentioned in the extensive medieval era records of Andhra Pradesh, for example. This has led Cynthia Talbot, a professor of history and Asian studies, to question whether Varna was socially significant in the daily lives of this region. The mention of Jati is even rarer, through the 13th century. Two rare temple donor records from warrior families of the 14th century claim to be Shudras. One states that Shudras are the bravest, the other states that Shudras are the purest. Richard Eaton, a professor of history, writes, anyone could become warrior regardless of social origins, nor do the Jati appear as features of people's identity. Occupations were fluid. Evidence shows, according to Eaton, that Shudras were part of the nobility, and many father and sons had different professions, suggesting that social status was earned, not inherited in the Hindu Kakatiya population in the Deccan region between the 11th and 14th centuries. Historical evidence left by Buddhist rulers in ancient and medieval India do not mention Shudra. For example, according to Johannes Bronckhorst, none of Ashoka's inscriptions mention the terms Kshatriyas, Vaishyas, or Shudras, and only mention Brahmins and Sramanas. Several popular medieval era bhakti movement poet saints and religious leaders were born in a Shudra family. Examples include Tukaram and Namdev. The compositions of Namdev have been popular not only in the Hindu community of Maharashtra, but also in the Sikh community. Sixty of his compositions were included by the Sikh gurus of Punjab region as they compiled the Sikhism scripture the Guru Granth Sahib. Topic commentary Dr. Ambedkar, a social reformer, believed that there were initially only three Varnas, the Brahman, Kshatriya and Vaishya, and that the Shudras were the Kshatriyas who were denied the Upanayana, an initiation ritual, by the Brahmins. This claim has been contested by historians such as R. S. Sharma. Sri Aurobindo states Shudra and the other Varna is a concept found in all human beings in different proportions. He states that this was externalized and mechanized into a system quite different from what it was intended. The tenets of Vedic Hinduism in North India held less sway in the south, where the societal divisions were simply Brahman and Shudra. However, some non-Brahmins adopted the classification of Sat Shudra, clean Shudra in an attempt to distinguish themselves from other non-Brahmin communities. Topic see also caste system in India Scheduled castes and scheduled tribes Topic References Topic Bibliography Basham, Arthur Llewellyn 1989. The Origin and Development of Classical Hinduism reprinted ed. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-507349-2. D. R. Bhandarkar Some Aspects of Ancient Indian Culture. Asian Educational Services. ISBN 978-81-206-0457-5. Johannes Bronckhorst 2011. Buddhism in the Shadow of Brahmanism. Brill Academic. ISBN 90-04-20140-8. Eaton, Richard 2008. A Social History of the Deccan, 1300–1761. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-0-521-51442-2.
Flood, Gavin D. 1996, An Introduction to Hinduism, Cambridge University Press Roger Boucher 2013, The First Great Political Realist, Kautilya and His Arthashastra, Lexington, ISBN 978-0739104019 Varadaraja v. Raman 2006. Hinduism. In Elizabeth M. Dowling and W. George Scarlett. Encyclopedia of Religious and Spiritual Development. Sage Publications. Doi 10.4135 Topic: Encyclopædia Britannica 2010. Shudra, Hindu Class. The Editors of Encyclopædia Britannica. Guri, G. S. 1969. First published 1932. Caste and Race in India, 5th ed. Popular Precaution. ISBN 9788171542055. Stephanie Jameson, Joel Brereton. 2014. The Rigveda: The Earliest Religious Poetry of India. Oxford University Press. ISBN 9780199370184. Novetsky, Christian Lee 2013, Religion and Public Memory, A Cultural History of Saint Namdev in India, Columbia University Press, ISBN 978-0-23151-256-5 Patrick Olivelle 2005. Manu's Code of Law. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0195171464. Orr, Leslie 2000. Donors, Devotees, and Daughters of God Temple Women in Medieval Tamilnadu. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-509962-1. Laurie Patton 2002. Jewels of Authority, Women and Textual Tradition in Hindu India. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-513478-0. Lane Rangarajan 1992, The Arthashastra, Penguin Classics, ISBN 978-0140446036 R. S. Sharma 1958, Sudras in Ancient India, A Survey of the Position of the Lower Orders down to circa AD 500. Mudalal Banarsidas. Talbot, Cynthia 2001, Precolonial India in Practice Society, Region, and Identity in Medieval Andhra, Oxford University Press, ISBN 978-0-19-513661-6 Thapar, Romila 2004, Early India, From the Origins to AD 1300, University of California Press, ISBN 9780520242258 Witzel, Michael 1995. Early Sanskritization, Origin and Development of the Kuru State. EJVS, 1-4.